today I'm gonna answer uh, some frequent asked questions about how to buy products or import products from the EU market. So I'm waiting for my fans to join. You guys come. Hi bro, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Everything's good? CNC programming tutorial in Benga. Hi there. Thank you, bro. So today I'm here to answer the frequently asked questions about how to buy from the EU market. You guys know EU market? Hey, how are you? Uh, shipping to India is uh, so costly, so expensive, not only uh, to India. Actually, all the shipping charges are crazy right now. You know, uh, the shipping, for example, we have uh, customers from USA, one 20 feet container, small container, 20 feet, huh? Shipping to US right now raised to twenty four thousand US dollar. You know how much before virus? Four thousand to five thousand US dollar. So twenty thousand costly, more costly. Can you imagine that? So to North America is the most crazy area shipping to that, and India is uh, not as costly as uh, uh, we think. Because we already know uh, the sh expensive, extremely high shipping cost to USA right now. So, of course, the shipping to India, shipping by air, by sea, by door to door, all crazy right now. A lot of customers want to hold the shipment, want to hold the the import so far because uh, the high cost cost sh uh, shipping rate, but. 
now they're still waiting. They want to reduce it and before they make a decision to import from China. But unfortunately, uh, you're not going to like it. It's not going to happen. At least not going to happen this year, at least. Hi, Mr. Ahmed. Australia? Australia is okay. It's uh, raised uh, like uh, 50%. Singapore, 100%. Malaysia is okay, 40%. Not as crazy as uh, shipping to USA. Now, a lot of shipping uh, agents will ask us first before we inquire the shipping charge is, hey, how much of the cargo in your container? If a small one, we do not suggest you ship right now because the shipping rate is more, is even more than the total value of the cargo that you import from China. Uh, shipping cost will become less back to normal uh, in the future, but I don't know when. As long as the virus uh, goes crazily still, uh, I don't think there is a big chance to reduce shipping cost. But we all hope that uh, the shipping cost will reduce in the next year, I, I guess. That depends on the virus situation. You know that high demand, uh, low supplier, the economic issue? Uh, yeah, bec uh, that's the exactly explains everything. If there is, there are only 10 containers, but there are 100 buyers out there waiting and want these 10 containers, of course, the shipping line, the vessel companies will raise the price up. Uh, then you will get a high price. So this is because the demand is high, the supplier is low. So it's kind of like that. But before that, it's like that, right? It's like a uh, balance. We get the balance. RMB frozen in China. Good question. You know, the ABC bank in China, it's a state owned bank. But a lot of uh, previous ABC bank holders, bank users, uh, they got frozen. The only key reason. The main key reason I would say is that you try to transfer RMB to China from other country. Okay, uh, now the China government is uh, starting anti the fraud campaign. So many uh, people actually outside of China and uh, what do we call it? It's calling scam. So when you, if you try to input money on the website that uh, register outside of China and it's very easily to get uh, frozen. Finishing export. The export actually uh, nowadays go for two ways, offline and online. Offline means you need uh, to go to there, right? Before the virus, but a lot of suppliers do not want to go to the physical export because to it's dangerous kind of like so they have online like live stream like i'm doing the same thing with you guys uh but uh before the virus the export like canton fair also uh, they will start pr processing this two way offline and uh, online a lot of suppliers but you can can compare those to the previous the situation before virus before in the old past time in the past uh, years before 2019 all suppliers go to Canton Fair to attend this Canton Fair Bangladesh okay Bangladesh is actually interesting you guys that require LC uh, we don't do LC actually but we also have uh, customers from Dhaka in Bangladesh regarding how to do it Bangladesh customer can do it. Okay, they have agents. They have a way to do this. Uh, so we don't do uh, LC so far, but next year we will consider. All right. The main topic for this live stream is how to buy from EU market, and you guys ask about the uh, Alibaba. I was still. I'd like to answer. Uh, buy from Alibaba is. Uh, you know, Alibaba is uh, uh, the wholesale online is the, one of the biggest uh, online wholesale market. The website you can still buy from there, 
but uh, be careful you need to inspect every details uh, about the, the factory the quality uh, the price uh, it's not a problem you import from Alibaba I don't think that's a problem uh, you can buy from there Alibaba has a bulk cargo also uh, retail they do both I like Amazon AliExpress is exactly just like Amazon okay is this the right time to visit China to buy home furnishing okay first you can buy products from China for sure second if you want to visit China yes you can third you need to do self quarantine that means when you uh, fly the touch down China you need to go to some hotel that the government appointed you need to stay there 14 to 28 days in a row you got that right you got me in a row so you have to stay in that hotel regarding how much cost you uh, that depends uh, that vary depending on different cities uh, government policy the local government's policy but I think pretty much the same you got to pay How much can be shipping cost to Bangladesh? Uh, I need to know you discharge port, the total weight, the total CBM, and also products. Uh, what do you call it? Products uh, details description. I also need it. Okay, Mr. Ahmed, I answered your question, huh? Why army frozen in China? It's a normal thing. Uh, the final ultimate answer is try to ch transfer U.S. dollar to to China. If you transfer army to me right now, I would be scared because I probably my account will be frozen by the bank or by the uh, by the authority. So I all, we always remind the customer to try to transfer army uh, US dollar to us. But if army is necessary, make sure there is nothing illegal getting involved. Okay, uh, we still can accept. Some old customers want to try to transfer RMB to us. We will first ask a few details like who helped you transfer RMB to you? Well, mostly customers transfer RMB by themselves. So there is no big issue. If I'm starting a skincare line, how many days will it take? That depends on the total quantity. So as a professional agent, our job is to make sure that help customers purchase, import, or find right products and suppliers without customers actually need to come to EU market. So what we do is, uh, well actually you can see my video later, but I will explain here. Uh, we need to get uh, all the product details because we deal with uh, many different suppliers for different products. Second, we will give you a price after you confirm everything, and we will store. You need. We will write you the invoice. You need to transfer army to us. Then we will uh, start collecting uh, products. Maybe some products need production time, but no problem. We'll still wait and track the orders until we receive those cargoes. After we do quality control, then there is nothing need to worry about it. Then we transfer RMB to the suppliers before we load the container and ship it. But be make sure that which shipping method you need to. You need, okay? Uh, ocean shipping is the cheapest way, but you need what? You need import license. Second, door to door and uh, shipping by air are extremely expensive. 
if, uh, if you have a small quantity, then that's okay. Car accessory factories are located in many different uh, states and cities. I'm not sure which one you want. Uh, let me tell you, we're not very familiar with uh, all suppliers, every supply in different city, but they are, basically we can find everything in the EU market, in District 5, 4th floor, all different car uh, accessories, car parts, auto parts you can find. You contact Raja, you, I send my WhatsApp link here, you can contact my WhatsApp link. So this is my WhatsApp uh, number, you just click it, and then if you install WhatsApp in, on your cell phone, we can chat, all right? Nepal, 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 sorry. Uh, we have a Nepal customer, but uh, they have their own agents, so we don't export actually, technically. Hi bro, Cocos, how are you? We charge commission, 1% to 5%, based on the total value of the products that you import from China. For example, if the total value of the products is 10,000 US dollar, we charge you 500 US dollar. Those 500 US dollar are for warehousing, wrong quality control, cargo consolidation, warehousing service, and also loading container, but it doesn't include, it excludes shipping charge, okay? It doesn't include a shipping charge. You can't hear me? You click the WhatsApp link, then we will, uh, we will I will give you the details if you need it, okay? We do not accept the LC, the letter of credit payment term. We do not accept that yet. Our payment return is 100% uh, cash. I understand there is some problem, some uh, concern you might have because you never met with us, you never met us, you never discussed with us, you don't know us, right? So you have a concern that uh, probably uh, you are not 100% sure, right? Uh, that's, uh, you, we could provide all the documents to prove that we are legit. Business license, name card, uh, transaction record, website, Facebook, YouTube, especially the YouTube. If you check my YouTube, over 10,000 subscribers, I only release everything about a business. After you check those things, I believe you can follow the first instinct. Follow your first instinct sometimes is very important. Well, if you know the Chinese language, that would be very uh, good for you to deal with uh, Chinese. After all, you are talk, you are dealing with Chinese, right? So it's a uh, if you have uh, if you can speak Mandarin, Chinese language, why not? But it is very hard to learn Chinese, according to my other customers told me. If you can speak fluent Chinese, I would doubt that. Uh, you leave China actually. <laughs> you needed to live to uh, live in EU, in China, then you can speak very good, very good um, uh, Chinese. I think because you have to deal with uh, Chinese uh, every day, not just the business, also other things.
Mm. I'm not sure this is a good time to live streaming because I got a I'm free right now that's why I open it <laughs> in China now it's 6:30 uh, p.m. in India I think it's only four a few hours uh, earlier right so in South East Asia in Australia two to three hours later like that We have uh, actually one video case we just uh, published yesterday to show, to present you how do we buy, purchase or make orders from the EU market because some customers cannot come to EU, right? Almost all customers are not able to come visit EU, so as their agents, we get everything done without they worry about it, without any worries. So I will give you the... Wait a minute. I will give you something. I'm good. So you guys have any question? Wait a minute, I'm doing one thing. Mr. Ramo. The LC we need to apply, we need to ask our banks. Uh, now the policy is very tight on the LC payment term. That's the some banks. Uh, if not all to all the trade transaction, our banks uh, remind us uh, before some try to do the hundred percent payment term. But also, if I were customer, I would uh, worry about it too. I never met 
met this supplier or this agent how I can trust him easily right so I understand uh, the customers side of concern any seasonal discount on the phone furniture now are you buying wholesale or retail uh the supplier we have are all for wholesale like container they don't they will give you some discount you know the quantity actually decides everything if you have big quantity then they can give you less price less price uh, less cost so that's what they are talking about Yeah, you can subscribe to my our YouTube channel. We do uh, before you come to China. You can also ask uh, me through the WhatsApp for the situation about China. We will tell you. So how we Indian times four p.m. Okay, thank you. to customers to any of you could uh, visit China which would be best okay you need to see those supplies by yourself you need to see the products you need to discuss with uh, supplies by yourself that's the best way now I'm talking about some customers cannot come visit the EU market and they still want import from the EU market then that's what we do that's why we're here I will give you the latest uh, the update thumbnail. Okay, this is how we, one customer ordered, give us order about eyeshadow, pressed powder, lip gloss, those, and uh, we go to, we went to the EU market to get everything done, and then we will uh, after the customers confirm all the price, transfer the payment to us, we will make order to this factory actually, after few weeks later they will send the goods to our warehouse and then we ship a container to customer well not one container includes many products not only one so this is how we do it Chinese China in China 6 uh, point uh, 6 uh, 39 p.m. accurately We don't have online uh, servers. We're uh, offline servers. When you come to China, you meet with us, and uh, actually, we do all the hassles for you. And uh, you're only gonna stay here in one week or two weeks, maybe. And you can't stay here forever. So you need a local agent to handle all the hassles for you guys, for the secure. Uh, after you receive goods, you may uh, there is a, some there are some broken products cartons. Uh, you need to show us the photos or videos. We will cut this balance in the next shipment or get you refund. If you visited you before, you know this uh, whole procedure. If you didn't, then once you come to the EU market in the future, then you will know. Uh, this is kind of like uh, based on the trust business. EU market is for small commodity more, uh, products, small commodity, daily necessity, those products. So of course, there are some few, it's inevitable when you meet the suppliers but according to our more than seven years sourcing experiences 
uh, we already minimize all the risks for customers. That's why so many customers uh, are feeling comfortable doing business with us. Without visiting China, Mr. Roger, you can uh, you add our WhatsApp number. I will tell you all the procedure. Now it's kind of like uh, hard to explain everything here, but let me put uh, this in simple way: is you have to tell us what products you buy. We give you prices. You only deal with us, actually. We don't release any supplier contacts. Uh, we only give you prices, and all your payment will go through us and uh, actually we're your supplier okay so if you come to china if you know some chinese suppliers already and uh, they also can speak english with you discuss everything with you negotiate private with you then you guys can confirm directly but once you said okay i confirm with my suppliers now i appointed you to be my shipping agent because you need to provide a warehousing service for me my few suppliers will send goods all to your warehouse well, in that case, then that's what we call agent business. Otherwise, it's like sourcing agents business or mixed like that. No problem. Well, if my live stream doesn't ha attract more and more people coming, I'm gonna close this. Uh, don't worry, it's just a test for me. And later, I will every week I will try to do one live streaming to answer all your questions about uh, China importing products from China, import export business. Uh, just uh, pay attention to my YouTube channel. Then you'll know everything about those things. Well, we will try to explain everything to you if you need it, if necessary. All right, I think uh, I don't get many viewers in my live uh, streaming. Well, this is actually my second live streaming. Uh, I, I learned a lot about OBS, how to set up. I learned like two days. This is my first, uh, actually, uh, this is my maiden OBS live streaming on YouTube. So I hope you like it. And if you have any question, send me WhatsApp. Uh, send me message your inquiries uh, through whatsapp every v i penned comment my own comments about the uh, in every video about my whatsapp link so if you subscribe to my youtube channel you could find the link is in the first uh in under every video down below in the comment area okay so there's no question anymore I guess we have to say goodbye. I will see you in 
next uh, live streaming. So goodbye, sir. Oh, uh, last thing you could, uh, folks, uh, you could also pay attention to our Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. I will uh, send you the slide in the last minutes after I say goodbye. So I will see you in the next live streaming. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you could, I will see you in the next video. Uh, after two days, we have a container. I'm going to load and then I will upload this video for you guys to watch. If you are uh, interested, subscribe.